Today I'm going to show you a radio frequency level switch, which is a handy switch to have in your bag of tricks because it will measure both liquids and dry materials. This is the LS7000 level switch, and the way it works is we put a 1.3 megahertz sine wave on the probe and adjust the amplitude of it. Then anything that comes into contact with the probe decreases the amplitude of the signal, and that's what we sense. The probe is a solid stainless steel rod. You can cut it off with a hacksaw if it's too long or weld onto it if it's not long enough. The standard insulator is Teflon. The process connection is 316 stainless steel. We can make it out of a variety of other materials as well. Explosion proof housing is standard and inside the lid we do something that's almost unheard of in the industry and that is we put our telephone number right there in case you ever have a problem. Also inside the lid is a diagram showing you all the components on the top card edge. This is the sensitivity adjustment and what our shorthand here means is you turn it clockwise to increase the sensitivity of the unit. Next to that is an onboard test switch to test the circuit. The red LED tells you if material is touching the probe and this is what you watch when you're calibrating the unit. There's a time delay adjustment Again, you turn it clockwise to increase the time. A green LED over here is a relay status. When the green light's on, the relay's energized. And these dip switches are explained in this chart. S1 and 2 select a timing range from 1 eighth of a second to 2 hours. And S3 and 4 select on or off delay timing, fail safe low or fail safe high operation. The bottom card is what we call the power supply board. There's a large green grounding screw here that holds the electronics in place. There's a built-in fuse and surge arrestor that protect it from bad supply voltages. And that solid stainless steel rod just has a hole drilled in the end. The banana plug loads the signal onto the probe. So very quick change out in the field. The relay output, it's 5 amp double pole double throw. Bring your power in over here, your relay contacts out here. Plug in the electronics, and there's that test switch I was telling you about. To calibrate this unit, it's just as simple as falling off a log. Just turn the sensitivity adjustment clockwise until you fire the red LED, then you go counterclockwise until it just goes off. That's the maximum sensitivity of the unit. At that point, I don't even have to touch it to set it off. If that's too sensitive for your application, and it may be for most, Turn this clockwise, counterclockwise until it just goes off, and then I'm going to give it about half a turn further counterclockwise. Now getting close doesn't do anything. I have to actually touch the probe to set it off. Our claim to fame with this unit is that it can withstand a pretty significant amount of material buildup on the probe without having to recalibrate it. To demonstrate that, I have a pound of modeling clay I'm going to put it on the probe, completely cover it up, and you can see the probe will still work. The high frequency RF signal gives it the ability to see through the product buildup on the probe. If you have a non-conductive buildup on the probe, from the grounded vessel wall to the probe, it will still work. If you ever had so much material on the probe, that it gave you a false alarm. There's no need to go in and clean the probe off. What you can do is recalibrate it to the amount of material that's stuck on the probe. And to give you an idea of the tuning range of that, if I could get you to hold onto that probe with both hands, support the weight of the unit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tune you out. You're a false alarm, excess product buildup in the tank. And what I'm going to do is tune you out. Now when I pat you on the back, see, the unit actuates. Thank you. This has the widest tuning range of any switch on the market. That's why these electronics will power a probe from a fraction of an inch long to over 150 feet long. By the way, this unit is a direct retrofit for a rotating paddle type unit frequently used for dry bulk solids. Uh, it has the same exact control wiring, so it's out with the old, in with the new. There's no moving parts in the vessel, no paddles to fall off, bearings to wear out, or motors to burn up. 
The last thing I want to show you is a time delay adjustment. I'll put a little time delay on this by turning the time delay potentiometer clockwise. Now you can see the red LED is coming off and on, but the green LED is not actuating, and it won't until the level has been there for a certain period of time. This is adjustable from one eighth of a second to two hours. This would be used typically to ignore a wave or a splashing action in the tank. If you flip these two switches down, it becomes an instant on time off, so you could use it to pump down a sump. The fluid level would rise when it touches the probe, instantly turns on your pump, and then it pumps down for a certain period of time. Some people use this timer mode also for dry pump protection. They'll put a short probe in front of a pump, and if the every time a slug of fluid comes by, it resets a timer. If the timer ever times out, it indicates the pipe is drained, the pump is fixing to run dry. These units are in stock for immediate delivery. They have a two-year warranty, 60-day money-back guarantee. What I just demonstrated for you was the LS7000. If you take away the time delay and the test switch, we have the LS6000, which is a lower cost alternative. It's shown over here with a welded flange, which is an optional process connection. We also have probes available with flexible wire ropes, which can go up to 150 feet. Three quarter inch diameter probes for very rugged applications. This is a PVC probe and process connection, a halar coated probe, and finally our LS8000 is a remote mounted level switch where you can put the electronics up to a mile away from the probe on a twisted shielded pair. If we can't solve your level control problem, we'll recommend a competitor who can. Thank you.